Okay, and I do believe we are now live on Facebook. Greetings, 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 and welcome everybody to Visionary Parenting, the very first one for 2022. We are having wonderful conversations with powerful people that are a variety of parenting experts and uh, thought leaders and parents that are taking the journey to empower their children and themselves sowing the seeds of success within us and with our, within our children so that we are transforming a generation to believe that they can be, do and have anything that they desire. And in this episode, my wonderful guest is Nadine Oxman. I hope I'm saying your surname properly. And she is our special guest today. Now she has been a teacher for over a decade and sees how children can suffer, doubt and lose themselves every day. Now, human design, which is what we're going to be talking about today, it found her when she was at the bottom herself. It guided her to realign with her true self again. So as a quantum human design specialist, she is here to help families to do the same, to discover their essence and purpose so that they can understand themselves and their children better by building a caring, compassionate relationship in which everyone can be the person that they really are. So this is what this conversation is going to be about welcome welcome Nadine to visionary parenting it is so wonderful to have you here thank you Melanie so do tell us tell us about your journey into yeah. um, human design and what exactly is human design yeah so I, as you already said very well um, it's actually that human design found me in a kind of way um, I really was uh, at a state where I kind of felt lost and, and didn't know where to go, what to do. And, and it found me and um, it hit me very well. And I think you can relate to that after we talked last time a little bit. And what is it exactly? Um, I think that's uh, to be, it's to be short, it's kind of a, a system an assessment tool mm -hmm. um, which helps you to determine who you really are so um, to go into a, a little bit of detail it's it's um, a combination of Kabbalah it's um, a combination of I Ching the Chinese I Ching um, and the chakras and also um, what did I forget now? The chakras, I Ching, Kabbalah, and... and there's a fourth one. I, I don't <laughs> remember that. Um, anyway, so with these kind of um, fundamental basic um, information, you can pull up a chart. And this chart is like a blueprint of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see it and in this blueprint it's kind of um, the detailed information for let's say how you can make decisions mm -hmm. according to your type how you communicate with others um, according to your design how you can um, energetically align with yourself more and um, it's a it's a great experiment to be to be um, honest and um, it's not your chart doesn't say that's who you are it just mm -hmm. gives you a frame and okay. you can experiment with it and you can try to figure out so what does this mean for me if mm -hmm. let's say this center is defined or if this channel is defined or what does it say about me and how does it play out for me in my experience and okay. it's a very nice guideline to go along with and to explore and to right. find back to yourself. Mm -hmm. So so for those that may not know, um, what 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 is Kabbalah and what is, I, I mean, I think most people know the chakras, but they may not understand right. what Kabbalah is and therefore right. just so that that those that are absolutely new to this. Yeah. So way Kabbalah, of thinking, as a, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Kabbalah is like the um this belief of the afterlife i think that's the most important part the part that goes into the human design system mm -hmm. like this 
connection to universe and that you're a part of something bigger and mm -hmm. that there's a plan for you laid out and you mm -hmm. just have to be yourself to fulfill this plan mm -hmm. and the chart is just this blueprint as i said or this this guideline to being yourself mm -hmm. and so the chart is very specific to you right it's not just a um a it's a, a unique chart in it's in a unique chart kind of okay yeah. and how does it how do you get the uniqueness to that person mm -hmm. how does that so happen so you you uh, configure the chart um, by um, giving in your birth data. So you mm -hmm. need your um, um, place of birth, your time of birth, exact exact time of birth, and the, the birth date itself. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's how it um, can be created, and you can download the chart, and then you, you can interpret it. You can start to read yourself. Obviously, you can you can. Um, get the information from books and stuff like that but it's just a scratch um, mm -hmm. on the surface um, and that's why I took the, the professional training then after because it it really uh, pulled me in so and mm -hmm. I, I saw the, the benefits of it and really helped me to get closer to myself and my 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 authenticity my inner truth again so mm -hmm. was, so the data for me when i when i hear you describe that it's like you're taking your birth date um your place uh, sorry yeah birth my place. one second yeah something just flashed up on my screen and just <laughs> threw me off there um so um it's your birth date your place of birth and the time you was born yeah. and it's using that that data and so what because to me that reminds me of like astrology charts. Right, and that's exactly the fourth pillar I was missing before. <laughs> <laughs> See how it goes in circle. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so it reminds right. me of astrology charts. And and yeah. then that's that's to me, I always describe it as like where the 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 stars were aligned and you were created. So there's that kind of energy that comes from the star alignment and how you was created when you was created, and therefore you're able to. This is my layman terms of 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 explaining <laughs> of explaining not, no, and understanding it. Lame. It's 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 actually that essence of yes. Right. So oh. then using that then understanding that that process is then you then put that into your chart or the chart for human design and are then able to um no work i out. can i like i gave you your chart the yeah. one i gave to you mm -hmm. this i got out from from your birth data so this yeah. is your chart your blueprint that's unique to me or you that's unique to you to your time of birth right that in, in that location on that hour and mm -hmm. minute mm -hmm. okay all right so that's that's fascinating to, to you know because i know that there are many people in terms of say for example astrology that and their star signs and will definitely sort of relate to the traits of their star sign and to relate to where um where they are in the different moon cycles and things and understand the essence and energy that relates to all of the natural sources around us and human design is is drawing into all of that yeah. that yeah is that right okay so you did for me which i thought was amazing and, and when we did it you know I, I was blown away um by the by what you was telling me about you know and a lot of it did resonate i mean some of it was new i'm not going to going to uh pretend that it wasn't a lot of it was new to me i had never done human design before i had my chart read or anything but reading that um, and going through that process was quite an enlightening um journey mm -hmm. and i could see how it could and would impact both uh parent and child to help them through you know struggles and issues when you can identify and see certain things within you uh, based on your child or even think oh maybe that's where that's coming from and perhaps you know look at certain things in a different way um i, I found that to be really quite um enlightening you know and could yeah. be a very and is that how you've been using this this tool with, with families yes. i have to say that that it's I think it's crucial that you yourself 
at least know your chart, have at least heard some things about your own chart as a parent mm -hmm. um, before you get consultation about your chart because you will not understand your child as much as you will understand your child when you do the reading yourself. Yes, I think so, it's absolutely, that, and, that's very true. Yeah, it's and, it's and leading just, by example, it's understanding, right. understanding just yourself. Exploring, mm -hmm. Just exploring, what does that mean for me? And, and with that comes the understanding, oh, so this might do this and this to my child and this might play out like that for my child. There's this, much bigger understanding that comes with this mm. and that that leaves you making a much bigger connection mm. do you have a by any chance like a specific example perhaps uh, without obviously yeah, it, well it starts any... just with the basics it, it starts with the with the type right so if you know for example your child is a generator it might be helpful to know that a generator is a kind of very energetic kind of person and let's say your child is very giddy or cannot stay still and has to move and you know we're we're all kind of people we are going to say what well, can't you just sit still for a minute or just that's what we do right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so having this understanding oh my child is a generator it needs to move it needs to mm -hmm. move the energy it needs to get it out right so just this creates an understanding for you to oh okay that i need to create at least some time of the day to get my child out moving or whatever it is you, you're mm -hmm. going to do with it but you know that's the reason mm -hmm. and that creates a much more um loving and and, and understanding kind of way i think yeah and that's yeah. just basic, right? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you say um, my child is a, a generator, that means that within human design, there's different profiles, um, yeah. different traits that yeah. people fall into. So for example, on my chart, when I look at that, I see I come up as a pure manifesting generator right. um, and a, a three six. Right. Um, and that has a significance then yes. on yes. Yes. certain, yes. right? So mm -hmm. you're, you're kind of, you're the hybrid kind of type because the manifester is on itself a type and the generator as well. And you're the, the hybrid of it. And that comes with uh, both sides of the types. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a kind of mixture mm -hmm. and which makes it special again, right? So mm -hmm. there are five types and um, also the profile. Um, the profile you can imagine as a kind of a frame how how you interact with others and how they perceive you and your aura or your mm -hmm. energy how you're mm -hmm. perceived mm -hmm. that's the profile that what, what the profile stands for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so, so understanding what those profiles are then enables you to um do things in alignment with it that enables that to yeah. come to bring it into being yeah. in its more natural for, form so you know where it is that you're kind of heading or what it is that feels right for you but you, there's an understanding to that and why perhaps you could be feeling that uh word when you're when you're butting heads with something or right. and, you know right and mm. all the other way around when it's not yeah. working why is it not working because you're not uh, like you're not going according to your type or you're not going after your authority or your strategy mm -hmm. right so this is an indicator and then you know oh I would be much more aligned if I would maybe try this and that mm -hmm. according and this to type yeah. according to authority or yeah. Okay. Okay. And this is that. This is what we say: align into your human design, knowing, right. and, and that's the exploration you have to do for yourself, right? That's mm -hmm. that's a, the part where you have to go and experience and try and and see how does it work out for me? What does mm -hmm. it do for me? How does it show up for me? 
So it's a continuous work, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, definitely. As, as, as any type of personal development and finding and growing, yeah. it's a continuous work. It's not something that you um, perhaps say, have your chart read once and look through and think, no, oh, yeah, it's, it's, no. it, it's then a continuous thing to recognize and like, oh, so that's where that's coming from. Well, that could be what that's about. And let's see how I can shift the energy on that if you know because a lot of the times because it will also it will show your positive as well as your negative it will show you why you keep the sort of right hitting into these into these kind of pits and gullies yeah, yeah. and it will also show you where you are like conditioned right where you mm -hmm. learned to be a kind of a specific way mm -hmm. that's not true for you mm -hmm. it will show you yes yes it will show you where you're supposed to be right like what is actually true for you and when you're finding well uh, because that was interesting as well so it's like when something is said that that's from your chart that that's like well that's not me that's not that I'm not like that I don't I don't it doesn't get to that and it's like well if that's where you're supposed to be or that could be where and what's in the way of you right. you know get into that place it's like because sometimes it's like yeah I'd love to be like that but I've got all of this going on kind of thing and so but actually that's who you are really supposed to be or that's where you're supposed to be in alignment with so what can we do to get rid of the things that are stopping right. you from being in alignment to to your um natural design. human right. natural design yeah that's very yeah. very powerful it is and i still learn every day it's like it's like sometimes i think oh now i got it i know what it feels and what this exactly feels like right mm -hmm. and then it's mm -hmm. in a total other thing popping up somewhere else and I'm like oh okay let's look at this then I'm like it's it's really mind-blowing sometimes it is and, and and also the synchronicity that shows up mm -hmm. if you uh live according to your design it's it's weird sometimes really but beautiful awesome. beautiful mm -hmm. yeah that is amazing. That is amazing. So you see it finding that the parents are really sort of gravitating towards um, having, finding out their human design and seeing how it can work for them and their families. How do people get in, uh, are able to take part in doing this? How do they, someone discover this and move into this mm -hmm. uh, so mode? I'd say um, I cannot really um, apply it at school as I want to, because I need the data. And in Germany, I don't know if you know that, but there's a really strict rules and, and stuff like that. But there are parents who um, they, they, they know that I do this and they sometimes uh, try to consult or they try to ask me and, and I gladly do give them mm -hmm. advice. Um, but it's mostly other clients that I do readings for the kids or for, for themselves. And, um, and there I can see how how rich and really empowering and uh, helpful it is mm. to know this about your child, right? So I have a, I have a, um, a client whose child is a reflector and you you only have one to two percent of of humanity is is a reflector, right? So wow open. And she is, she sometimes calls me and is like, my kid just did that. What, what can I do? What, what does it mean? What, what am I supposed to do now, right? Because she knows if she does not really know all of this and, and, and just goes according to her parenting that is maybe conditioned, mm -hmm. she might really condition this kid, right? So, so she's very aware of that. And that's, that's so important for this kid. And just can cannot yeah that i think that's quite um quite amazing when you if you find out something that you know your your child is in like uh a rare rare section yeah. of the of human Definitely. design and there's that element so because it does then make you think oh my gosh what what do i do and how do i continue to allow my child to expand in this what is naturally theirs right, right you know and not condition them in a way that society has us where it would break down and you know um and the, stif that would stifle keep their him growth from, from being right the 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 radiator he is like a reflector yeah. is, is is the mirror of society right so if he doesn't 
fulfill his purpose it's like so much wasted right so yeah. so he's so so beautiful look at that a reflector yeah reflector of, of society right. it's like a mirror a mirror yeah. that is that is a deep deep mm -hmm. deep understanding to have of your child right yeah and then you know so to then continue to um have fertile ground for them to grow in knowing that they are you know the mirror of the oh my gosh that's powerful and that is uh, really powerful. raising the kid to know himself right yeah yeah to not doubt or to to play small and that's the biggest thing, isn't it? We want all of our children to not yeah. play small, you know, to be their true selves. And for them to be able to be them true selves, we have to be our true selves. We have to know, you know, our essence. We have to know our strengths and our confidence so that we can then feed that into our children. So like you said, having that chart, reading your chart yourself, all modalities, we have to take that on board ourselves before we could even begin to apply it to our children. We have to walk that road. Um, so understanding who you are and aligning to your design, to your uh, inner source, to your natural, um, natural tendencies that are right and true for you. Once right. you do that, it allows you to then guide your child to do the same and your children to do the same. And there's that understanding. And, and you then understand that each of your children are unique in their own way and have their certain things, you know, so you don't then try to make them conform to certain uh, standards or certain society rules and all of that kind of thing. You, you actually allow them to grow and blossom and bloom into exactly who they were designed to be. Um, I think that is just powerful. It is. Very, very powerful. It is. it is. That's awesome. That's awesome. So um, you say that you, do, you don't get an opportunity to do it often in schools and you're doing it with your clients, um, a few clients in there, but how would you, what is the vision that you have for this work and um, where do you want to take it to? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it would be very important to, to know uh, at school, because this is the place where um, a lot of generalization takes place mm -hmm. and where the uniqueness should be valued the most. And if I, as a teacher, knew all, oh, let's say just the, the type, let's leave it with the types for now. If, if this child is a generator and he needs to move in his chair, how many times does a teacher say, don't, stop, sit still, be quiet? What does that child learn, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like, oh no, I'm not good if I, if I move. I'm not good if I'm speaking up. I'm not good if I'm loud. I'm not good. If a teacher knew this is a generator, he needs to move. Okay, so let's move, move, move. Just move. It's okay mm -hmm. to move, right? Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. just the small thing you could change by knowing this. Mm -hmm. That could make a difference for the child, right? Yeah. So it would be very, very, very important to, to, I don't know, bring it into schools, to make it aware for parents, to make it aware for the older kids, if they can decide themselves, right? To, to find out maybe... I don't know, at, at our school, you can um, do a program for finding a job and something like that. Mm -hmm. So powerful in, in, in respect to that. Get a reading. What, what are you supposed to do in this world? What are your talents? What, what can you change? Who are you, right? Mm -hmm. That would be so powerful. Yeah, for the that would be school. powerful. That would be powerful. Unfortunately, though, we do know that, you know, for schools to take on board right. these different ways of thinking, you know, it is, it's a challenge in itself, isn't it? You know, um, because they have a very much um, set agenda for what it is that they want to achieve in the schools and free thinking, open minded, uh, powerful children. Um, <laughs> it's not really what it is, what the, what the, what their agenda yeah. is, you know, so again 
you know, this is why we do what we do, you know, why we right. talk to parents outside, why we use different right. modes and different platforms to reach, to, to reach parents, to show them that there is a different way. There is a way, you know, very, so many different ways that you are able to kind of get in touch with yourself, mm -hmm. find out your strengths, find out who it is that you were destined to be, empower yourself and your children. And that's what the purpose of visionary parenting is about, because we right. know that our schools are not providing us or our children with the tools to empower ourselves to be magnificent beings. So we have to do it for ourselves. And, you know, and uh, this is what this is what it is about discovering the ways to do that so right. that is that is fantastic so again so you um you're reaching out and working with different clients your information is online on facebook and around um and there are very i, I hear so much more talk about human design lots of more people getting yes. interested yes there is there is a, a a much bigger conversation going on now but i think germany is kind of in the last <laughs> last quarter in that kind of conversation it's it, it's still a lot of resistance and and doubt i'd say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um that why that do you think always, that is why do you think that is the I resistance that, and the doubt i think that they are maybe afraid to do the work or maybe not willing to do the work themselves I think a lot of people want to have something from outside miraculously come and change the things. I think that's still the belief. And yeah. Someone's, they're looking for their saviors outside. Somebody's come and fix it for right. them. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry. sorry, say yeah. You have to take the, the responsibility for yourself yeah. and then for your kids. And yeah. if you if you're not willing to do the work, who's going to? Yeah. And that's still I found that this is still a big block in Germany, at least. Not not in other other countries though, mm -hmm. but still here I'm I'm I have to rely on 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 word of mouth to get new clients because okay. otherwise people won't subscribe. Okay. But I'm right. glad I can do readings in, in or sessions in English as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> glad about that. <laughs> so. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah. So I just had a question come in saying, um, with your experience, are you able to tell a child's profile just by observing them? I can come close. I think it's a matter of, I think type would be easier. Mm, profile would be more experience I think it's it's it comes with with a lot of details mm -hmm. and you cannot also always be sure and also what what else is is going into with this but mm -hmm. type especially generated types would be more easy okay okay so you, you can get a, a sense of perhaps yeah the type yeah. of um child they are but not necessarily the profile without all of their data yeah. in that sense so it is very much data driven and, you, and it, like I said well like we said before you never know how conditioned are they already right how, yeah. how much of the behavior is really the, themselves themselves or, the or learned or, behavior yeah. mm -hmm. so you you can never be that sure but you you have a um you have a feeling about it maybe intuition about it maybe but yeah, type would be the easiest, I think. I think that's a, again, I do think this is a very powerful um, tool to use. And I think that's, I think that, you know, I, I don't know if it's my own perception on it before, because I know that in terms of astrology and getting readings, people, you know, some people have aversions to um, saying that, okay, I'm going to get a reading, you know, and in, in that sense. Um, and that's a lot of, there's a lot of reasons as to why they have those aversions to it. Many different stories that relate to perhaps, you know, witchcraft and obia renaissance and, right. and, you know, voodoo and all of them kind of things from this side. And then, you know, black magic and this and thingy yeah. tarot reading, dealing with all of that. And so sometimes, you know, it's got all of this taboo 
things around getting readings um, and we have to kind of like get past those or break down those myths. Yeah, but it's like I said before, if, if you're not willing, if, if you have doubts, if you're not into it, there's no way to like, I'm not going to push. It's not, so it's not it's about like, trying to convince you or yeah. persuade you to do this. It's like, right. you're, you're, you'll be drawn to it. Yeah. If yeah, it's for you, you will, then you will, you'll be drawn you will, to it. If you, yeah, it will find you. It will you will resonate with it if it's mm -hmm. if it's for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also with the person, I think that's that's important too because not everyone is going to book a session with me, right? Yeah. So, but maybe you can find someone else who resonates mm -hmm. with you, who, mm -hmm. who you you feel drawn to, and that's actually also like the gut feeling is also actually a strategy. So, mm -hmm. listen to it and go with with what your body tells you so if yeah. you resonate maybe it's for you yeah. maybe it just yeah. found you at the right time in the right place mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's very true and that's a, a lot of the times that's how we discover these things that right take take us to the next level you know it finds us we kind of uh, stumble across something yeah. that actually just hits the spot mm -hmm really resonates and thinks yeah you know what this is what's going to help me to get to my next level mm -hmm. um is that a chart on the wall behind you a representation of yeah that's mine actually yes <laughs> yeah of what it looks like of what yeah. um you know and it, that's interesting as well because it's sat in this kind of like buddha type position and you're seeing all the energy flows of the channels around and and so forth so it's a very interesting a very interesting um, mode um, and tool to use to really kind of help you discover who you are or who it is that you were yeah. designed or destined to be and who it is that you can attempt to align with and say, okay, this is my strength. Mm -hmm. This is my strength and this is where I want to go. I think that is, is, is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so... Um, it's been brilliant, a brilliant conversation, very enlightening. Um, and I just really do encourage people that those that, you know, are curious to know more about their human design to, to reach out, to reach out to you, to find out some more Definitely. information. Even if, and, you, yeah, even if you, if you just want to have another recommendation or if you want to take a session, you're welcome to reach out at any time. Sure. Yeah. Even and in I English, hope, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's that's amazing. And again, I just think you know, if we can encourage people to, you know, if if this if this conversation has landed anywhere within your spirit that has made you think like, okay, I want to find out some more about human design. I want to see how um, who it is that I was supposed to be, and how far I've been conditioned away from who it is that I was supposed to be, um, and see how it can help me get to my next level if that is resonating within you then do go reach out do go and find out some more about human design it is an incredibly powerful tool that can help you and your children to you know just help you just improve those relationships in so many ways so um i can't advise more to just just go and find out some more about it just be if if you if like I said if it resonates within you, go and find out some more about it because I do think it to be um, a very very powerful tool, and very enlightening. And I do keep going back to my chart and go, oh, okay, okay, that kind of makes sense. What can I do here? <laughs> and, stuff, and that's and that's yeah. what it does. And that's yeah, what it, it does. does. It's like, and it's actually like like the synchronicity that shows up, um, as you just said. If you see that now and you resonate with it. That's that's a synchronicity starting to come in, right? Yeah. If you yeah. let go, surrender, and just trust in what comes my way is the best for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a big part of it. Yeah. 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 That's brilliant. That's it's, it's so good because again, it's like I said, it's like you you can look at that and you can see that when you're in those places of discomfort or yeah. I'm not feeling it's like well I'm not really being who I'm supposed to be that's why right. I feel so but, you know, out of what ease we do then, yeah but what, what we do then is we start to push right mm -hmm. we start to push and we start to try to make things work another way but that's not how it works 
So mm. this is exactly where you need to start when, where you need to see, okay, well, what needs to happen that I don't have to push, that I don't have to push through, that I don't have to make things happen, right? Mm -hmm. Where is That you get into the flow, into the right. alignment of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Where am I yeah. stuck here? What, what is the thing that I'm, that makes me feel stuck? Yeah. 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 It's powerful. It, it's a powerful. You do have to really just ponder on things and allow things to be mm -hmm. um, and just keep reflecting. Yeah. And it's that process Definitely. of reflecting and peeling, peeling it layers. It starts to make so much fun if you, <laughs> if you see how it's working out and it's like, oh, that's going to happen. If I just let go and try to go with the flow and listen to my gut or whatever your strategy is. And mm -hmm. it's, it's so magical sometimes. Like yeah. I said, the synchronicity is happening and, and you're sometimes you're, you just don't know you just didn't know if it really is that really possible like things are happening and you're like wow what else is possible then right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah amazing amazing thank you nadine for sharing thank you such thank information you oh it, it, it's been it's been brilliant you know like i said my, my um I'm just in awe with my chart and I look back at it and I just go oh my gosh you know I'm in awe with that and I'm in awe with how um how powerful it can be when you apply it with your um with your children for yourself and with your children I can see that I can see yeah, how dynamics yeah oh, I can see how the dynamics yeah. would work most definitely you know so like I said for those that it resonates with it, it's going to be an incredibly tall to use to take you and your family to the next level because it, it is really is that deep um so yeah i'm yeah I'm, I'm awestruck by it it's like you know it's like wow okay okay that's great that's great so yes yeah, so thank you like i said for explaining to us about sure. the, the human design just the beginnings of it you know and encouraging others to go and look deeper into it and see how they can use it to really help themselves and their families you know get to that next level for themselves you know it's been a very enlightened conversation um and i do think that there was lots of little things in there that people could go and research further so thank you for sharing your wisdom your knowledge and your understanding of human design and, and allowing us to get a glimpse into the power of this tool that has been amazing um i'd also like to thank you for being my first guest of the year yeah uh, for 2022 uh, that is brilliant um it's been thank great you. And yes, um, and so as I said previously, people can get in touch with you um, yeah. via Facebook. Yeah, um, yeah, they can look you up under your profile there and find all, uh, find more information about human design and how they can go about getting a reading with you um, uh, or any other yeah. information that you provide, yeah? yeah? Yes. Is, is there any other way that they can contact you or is that the best way? That would be the easiest, I think. Of course, you can, can contact me per, um, via email, but, but that would be the easiest, I guess. If you can see this, you can just hit my name on yeah. Facebook and you're there. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. I'm sure that people are going to be wanting to reach out and find out oh, more about I'd love this. To. I'd love I'm to. sure they will be because, like I said, it's <laughs> deep. It's deep, it is, it's powerful. Yeah. You know, there's a lot to learn about yourself just taking this reading, just even in that there's a lot to learn about yourself and there's a lot that you will go back and keep on and getting more and more aha moments and more and more nuggets for both yourself and then for your child as well. So, you know, um, do go ahead and, and, and explore that because it, like I said, it's very, very powerful. Okay, so thank you, thank you very much um, for this episode. It has been brilliant, and uh, we will be back in two weeks' time with um, another guest that's going to be telling us some wonderful things that we can do for ourselves and for our children to transform this generation. You know, as I say, as parents, we are our children's first and continuous teachers, and we must recognize the impact that we have on our children's beliefs about themselves about others and about the world around them. 
both positively and negatively. So let's be the positive and show our children how to be the best versions of themselves by being the best version of ourselves. You know, Visionary Parenting is here to help and support you to do exactly that. So tune in in two weeks time where we go again to talk some more about how we go and transform a generation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time, your energy, you. your love and your wisdom is very much appreciated. Until the next time, do take care. <laughs>